But Houston got another keeper crappie. A big one too. Yeah, that's a nice crappie. I think well, mine's bigger, but. I caught it in the same place as yours though. We may have to like get on that piece of styrofoam and drift was, out there, man. I was really thinking about it. <laughs> oh yeah. Going on the stringer. Yeah. I'll dang sure take that any day of the week. That's a good meal right there. Well, what's up guys? It's Daniel in Houston from Arms Family Homestead and uh, it rained and the creek got up a little bit. As you can see, the water is uh, stained a little bit. It's a little bit dirty. And typically that would mean we're doing some sand bass fishing. However, it did not quite get up enough to bring them all the way up the creek to spawn. So what are we gonna do? Well, talk to a buddy and he said they're biting at the lake in the cove where Houston and I go down and fish at the dock and stuff. So the white bass, sand bass, whatever you prefer to call them, are, uh, they're trying to spawn and they like current. They like to come up a creek to spawn, but without enough rain and enough current, they can't do that. So he said they're trying to spawn at the very back of the coves and stuff. So it's too windy. It's been really, really windy all day today. It's too windy to get a boat out on the water. So we're gonna do some bank fishing and hopefully Find us some sand bass and maybe a crappie. Yes. Better take a tripod. Because you know, I probably need to film myself catching all the fish again, right? No, not happening. Just like at the pond the other night. Hey, I was having a very bad day that day, okay? And you found one spot where the fish were having a dang meeting and every single one of them were like we all need to get that one it was annoying <laughs> every cast you caught one i'm pretty sure oh i see why he said they were biting here there's a little current flowing in from a little runoff creek running into the lake right here and like i said those sand bass like a current. See that current right there, Houston? Mm -hmm. Sand bass like current. They like moving water. A few years ago, we got all the way up in here in our boat and we actually caught sand bass up in here. Mom was with us. You remember that? Yeah. Look over there. Yeah, a piece of styrofoam from a dock. Yeah. But this hole into this cove right here, like right here. Full of water. Yeah, but I'm saying right now, this whole end of this cove should be pretty good. Yeah. Okay. whispering I said I missed one I'm fishing in front of Houston and Houston trying to fish in front of me <laughs> But Houston got another keeper crappie. A big one too. Yeah, that's a nice crappie. I think well, mine's bigger, but. I caught it in the same place as yours though. We may have to like get on that piece of styrofoam and drift was, out there, man. I was really thinking about it. <laughs> oh yeah. Going on the stringer. Pretty, pretty fish. Mom's favorite fish to eat too, Houston. She'll make us eat the sand bass. <laughs> She'll eat them crappie. All right, do it again. All right. I got you. Oh, smoked it. What'd you get this time? Big sand bass. Sand bass? Like a really big one. Let me see. Hang 
right in front of your lucky piece of trash. That's not trash, that's styrofoam. That'll do. It's full of eggs. Let's see what we got. Hold them up. Hold them up. Oh. Hey, that's enough for supper already. Oh, he missed it. It's pretty deep straight across there where I'm casting. I'm gonna let it sink down a little ways. But you can see a big rock bluff coming off there. Imagine, oh, oh, I think I got something on the bottom fish here for a while as it gets dark we may slide up there and fish off the dock buddy yeah. you know what yeah. what do we got here oh not what we're after but still a fish we'll take it any day right yeah. <laughs> little bass your lucky day buddy see ya I tied Houston on I tied Houston on a rattle trap and I said, hey, you might catch sand bass, but you probably won't be catching crappie on a rattle trap. Now look at him. Ah, <laughs> bad gum. Whatever it is keeps hitting me right over on that other bank. I'm getting close. Just bring him over here. Ah, I think there's just something in the water. I bumped it two or three times right there, but. Oh no, that's fish. Oh, look at there. I think I got another bass, Houston. Get over here. Oh yeah. Nice one. Houston's got a crappie and I got a bass. You doubled up, baby. That's right. I don't know if I can even see you on the camera. Hold it up. Yeah, I told Houston, I said, I'll tie that rattle trap on for you if you want it. It'll probably catch the sand bass, but probably not the crappie. <laughs> and you got a crappie with a mouthful of rattle trap. Let this guy go. We're not keeping the bass today. Alrighty, buddy. Stick it through right there. By the way, this does not hurt them much at all. How do you know? Because I know what the dentist feels like. <laughs> oh, it's kind of like the dentist, huh? Yep. All right, well. It's that simple. Well, I lost my jig, so I figured I'd retie one and kind of show you guys what we're doing. And there's just in the world. I had a fish over there. So we're using these little fin spins. These are made by a uh, crappie magnet. Not Houston. He's going with the rattle trap like I showed you earlier. But the fin spin and some crappie magnet baits. We, Houston was catching them on this little white and chartreuse tail. And I've been using a couple different ones. Look at these little green and blue. What I've got on right now is uh well, I, I caught both bass both my little bass on this little orange and yellow color so just trying to change it up mix it up and see if we can get the sand bass to bite bought my i got a bite just my pole laying here in this little pond of water here oh i dang sure did there's a fish right there Yee <laughs> it's a little bluegill uh, green sunfish. Anyways, 
that's what I'm doing. A little fin spin jig. I thought I had a bite. Just, I just laid it in the water right here. Don't surprise me that there's some green sunfish in this little hole. They kind of protected. Ah, got moss. Got into moss. Let's see if there's anything else in here. A couple of years ago when the we got some big rains. We were able to actually get, oh, I think I got moss again. Our boat all the way up here and we were fishing. The boat was back there and throwing across this. Of course, the water was a couple feet higher. And man, we just slayed the sand bass right here. Oh, I think there's just more than little green sunfish in there. Keep getting nibbled on. There's one. <laughs> That's what it is. Just some little greenies. Still fun to catch. It's kind of like fishing in the creek, right? There's probably a hundred of them in this little hole of water right here. <laughs> got another one i wish that was crappie i wish i could jerk crappie out of that hole like that that'd be awesome wouldn't it oh he's in the water i think a green sunfish is about the most aggressive little fish you'll ever see man they'll eat anything you don't they don't care how big it is how mean it is if they can get their mouth around it, they're eating it. Woo, don't step on that log, that's slick. Ah, just ripped my pants. Dang. Ripped my pants wide open. Right here on the knee. They're old pants. What did I find here? Somebody's glasses case. Oh, get off of there. Man, I just walked all the way over here to fish where Houston was catching those earlier. And I got hung up on one little stick. Is that cedar tree safe to stand on? Whew. I'm gonna get wet. Yep, I'm gonna be wet. I don't want to go back and retie. That's a brand new jig. Ooh. Come on, get off that cedar tree. This is risky, guys. Terrible idea. I can see my jig. It's right there. That cedar tree won't break. <laughs> ah, dang it. Oh, slinging them everywhere. All right, retied. Not going with orange this time, but I'm gonna take some tackle with me, put it in my pocket this time, so I don't get all the way around there and have to walk back again. Alrighty, made it over here to Houston's spot. I will agree with that. Houston said it's a lot more fun when the fish are biting. They have uh, pretty much shut down on us compared to what it was when we got here, which was 6.30. It's now 7.47. I 
I got another bass, another fish that's not going to go on the stringer. <laughs> Been pretty good at catching those today. I mean, if we were eating bass, we've caught some good eating size largemouth bass today, but we'll turn them loose. All the bass fishermen in this lake would be angry if we start keeping their bass. What we got this time? What do we got? Ooh, crappie. Houston. I got another big old black crappie on this black and blue color with a chartreuse jig head. Looked him right in the top of the mouth too. That booger. There we go. Keeper size crappie for sure. Mm. Mm. Well, the fishing has not been just amazing. But I'm not going to complain about it because uh, Houston and I came down here and fished off the dock a few weeks ago. You notice you, you, you guys never saw the video because we never caught a fish. And uh, the sand bass have not been able to run up in the creek this year, which is really disappointing. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. We love to do that stuff. And uh, when they come up in the creek, man, it's just hundreds and hundreds of fish. And it's a blast. But I'll take a day like this sitting down here on the edge of the lake. I mean, it's just so pretty this is such a pretty spot and uh houston and i are both catching fish and we got plenty for supper i don't know if we'll eat them tonight or not it's gonna be late by the time we get home but either way i think after it starts getting a little more dark we're gonna head over to the dock and see if we can catch a few fish off the dock maybe golly what is the deal out here trying to catch crappie and sand bass and i can't catch anything but bass if we were bass fishing Shoot, I wouldn't have caught any bass today. Oh, my line just broke. Good thing I had it in my hand, huh? It was uh, rubbing up against that tree right there, and I guarantee you, it's a light line. It's like a four-pound test, but yeah, that's uh, bass number four for me today. Huh. Oh, retied. First cast. Let's see what we got. Feels like a pretty big fish. I'm guessing it's another bass. No sand bass. Yeah. About time. It's been a while since I caught one. Get off of there. There you go. How about that? I don't know if you guys can even see Houston, but he's way over there retying. He got tired of fishing with the rattle trap. So I had to tie on a jig and I think I've caught two fish while he's been retying. There's one. Hey! You gotta get your pole in the water. Oh, we got this time. He's pulling drag. Oh, it's a sand bass. He's just turned on all of a sudden. That's three fish and three casts. As the sun's gone down here. Ooh, he's leaking on me. Open your mouth, buddy. There we go. They're not giant white bass, sand bass, whatever you guys call them, but they're good eating size still. Did you get retied? I did half and half of one. Well, I caught several bass on that color while ago, so. No, did you? No, look. 
I just happened to have Oh, you mixed colors. Yeah. I was, oh my gosh. You're goofy. He tore two jigs in half, two jig tails in half, and so he's got a clear shad colored tail and an orange body on it. Yep. Where are they at? Right where you just cast. I caught, caught three in a row right out there. Real fast? Real fast? No, I wasn't really fast. Houston's fishing with his favorite little rod. The, the runt rod. Thanks. It was uh, cameraman Ron's favorite fishing pole too, huh? Yes, he he was able to get these to us. Yeah. So. Yep. Really appreciate it. Oh, I watched you wrap that around that stick right there. Well, we got us a pretty good little stringer of fish. I see one, two, three, four black crappie, one, two, three, four sand bass, maybe five sand bass. I think there's one down at the bottom. Yeah, I'll dang sure take that any day of the week. That's a good meal right there. So I think what we're gonna do is pack our way on out of here, even as pretty as it is, and ease over to the dock and it just, maybe try it for a minute, I don't know. I may call Clayton. I think him and his dad were over there fishing. If they're already gone, there may not be any reason for us to even try it right now. All right, we're gonna make the climb up on out of here. I don't think we're gonna go over to the dock. We got plenty of fish for a meal. And my buddy said they they caught a few on the dock. No sand bass, caught a couple crappie. But I promise you, we'll be back over there. He said they've uh, they've been doing pretty good on the dock off and on. So I think we got enough fish for a meal and we haven't had supper and it's almost eight o'clock. Yep, not blocking the sun today. We made it out. I'm out of breath. Yeah. So, uh, I think we decided that we're going to eat them tonight. What time is it? Uh, seven o'clock. Ain't it? Like seven oh eight? <laughs> uh, no. It is eight fifteen. Oh. We can have a late supper. Yeah. <laughs> Very late supper. Well, it's all over but the frying, guys. I think uh, I was planning on cooking these this evening, even though it's almost 9 o'clock. But Houston decided, probably not the best idea to have fish at 9 o'clock at night. He didn't. He said, Dad, I don't want you to do all that work and everything. So, hopefully, tomorrow. I think I'm supposed to go help Dusty uh, work the bison in the morning. But uh, maybe after that, late lunch, I don't know, something. Maybe we'll get to eat some fish tomorrow. All right, y'all, we're going to uh, fry our fish up. You can tell the difference. This is a crappie filet. There's very little red meat on it. And then you got your white bass, sand bass. As long as you eat them fresh though, that little bit of red meat's not bad at all. But the crappie, it's your favorite. That's my favorite. Now, I do have one question. What the heck is your pot doing? I heard it too, I don't know. Why is your pot popping? You should have used the cast iron skillet instead. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't want to use the skillet. I didn't really have enough fish to do my big Dutch oven. That's weird. Oh, does that mean I have to buy some more? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay, back to what I was doing. So I'm not going to cut them up into small bite-sized pieces. We're going to leave them in, you know, 
the size they are. They're not tiny. They're not large. Either one. So, a little Cajun fish fry mix. And don't ask me what brand this is because, well, somebody sent me a whole case of this like a while back. Packed by Parish Foods in Louisiana. Don't know anything about them, but it's really good fish fry mix. And uh, we should probably make a deal. <laughs> we should probably be selling this stuff because it's really good. I like it. Mixing, mixing, mixing. I mean, it may be a late lunch. It's only uh, 2.36, but Houston and I just got home from Dusty's at the Ponderosa. Everything went perfect. I don't get to say that about <laughs> working by some of Dusty very often because it usually doesn't go perfect. But I think it's because they had the best skid steer operator driving those bison through the, the alleyway. I mean... I just that's probably just it was a good luck charm that's what it was all righty preheated my oil to 350 and we're just gonna cook them a few at a time because i didn't want to break out the big dutch oven so only takes a couple minutes and they'll be golden crispy and ready to go looks like we got ourselves some floaters Man, that is hot. Ooh, those are hot. Mm. And those crappie fillets are just, oh, they're so pretty. Yep. Mm. Ooh, wee. I love it. Good luck to you. Well, you know that propane burner's putting off some heat when you can smell burnt hair. <laughs> Look at my fingers. Oh, it's putting off some heat. I tell my kids it's called the dad tax. Oh, man. Mm. I'll share my dad tax with you. Thanks. It's very hot. Mm -mm. We better go. Need some salt. Yeah, I salted, but it needs a little more salt. Mm, so good. Hey, Gemma, <laughs> did Kelsey roll you in all the fallen tassels? Oh my goodness, you! Oh, you can't come in the house looking like that. Kelsey, be nice. Lunch is ready. Yay! Emily's no. missing out. She's yes. she's not here. No, missing out on all. The frying. Mm. It's good stuff. Some dark hush hey, hey. They're dark hush puppies. Ah, hot. Really hot. They're very hot. Yep. Man, you got to be quick around here. I didn't even started. I just went in the house and got me something to drink. And, like, they done ate half my fish. I didn't eat fish. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right, Mom. How's the crappie? Delicious. When we were fishing yesterday, I told Houston to pick up the stringer and so I could take a picture. And he said, oh, mom is going to be so happy. I thought there were sand bass. There are. This one was sand bass? There, there was four crappie and five sand bass. Oh. And one earl. Stay over there, buddy. Well, y'all, it's hard to beat. <laughs> Fresh fried crappie. I'm full. I think I'm gonna go take a nap. <laughs> Weston and his buddy showed up and Houston talked them into heading back to the lake. So they're all back down there fishing again. So, whew, I'm tired. I may take a nap. So guys, remember, do something today. To make somebody smile because you never know. It just might change the world. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You guys have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.